Level up your English with Skyrocket English Class. In the next instalment of our conditional series, we'll explore how to use wish and hope to speak about present and future desires. So let's get started. The first way we express a desire is with to wish. We use wish for either a hypothetical present or an impossible past. To express this, we use a conditional in either second or third. To refer to a present hypothetical desire, use the first clause of the second conditional. For example, I wish you didn't eat so much chocolate or I wish I had a better mobile phone. Or if your desire refers to an action happening at this moment or routine, you can also use would or could. For example, I wish you wouldn't work so much or she wishes we could go ice skating. If your desire refers to the past, use a third conditional. For example, I wish we had spent more time with each other last year. Another example, he wishes he had retired earlier. These desires are of course completely impossible because the past has already happened. Wish is a normal verb and you can therefore make questions with do. For example, do you wish you had a dog or does she wish she had booked the flight earlier? However, I have to say that questions with wish are not so common. Wish is normally only used in present tense. However, you can also use it in past simple, although this is not common and mostly used in storybooks. For example, she wished there had been more to eat. Finally, a variation of wish is if only. If only is a synonym of wish and works in exactly the same way. You can use it with the first clause of the second or third conditional or would or could. Examples include if only I spoke French or if only they would call. If only I could ski or if only I had passed the exams. Now you know how to express your present and past desires. How do you talk about these with future desires? Well, this is with the verb to hope. Wish and if only are never used to express the future. For this we use to hope with the structure that runs hope plus infinitive or hope plus present or hope plus future. For example, I hope to travel to Spain next year. I hope that we travel to Spain next year. Or I hope we will travel to Spain next year. Note, although will is possible, it is not often used because hope already means the future. Hope unlike wish, however, means that you do believe that something will happen. For example, it is common to say, I wish I could win the lottery. This is a desire because it is very improbable that you will win the lottery. However, you cannot use hope here because it is so unlikely. Hope is instead used for things which have a higher probability of being real. For example, Susanna hopes to become a doctor. This means that Susanna is already working to become a doctor. Maybe she is at medical school or at least there is a plan to do it. You can use hope in present tense. She hopes to go to university next year or continuous. She is hoping to go to university next year or even past to refer to a past expression of a future desire. She hoped to go to university next year. Equally, hope can be used in questions. For example, do you hope to learn Spanish? Or do you hope to travel the world one day? However, questions with hope are not so common. To practice your English 
why not visit us at Skyrocket English Class for personalised one-to-one -one classes focused on real-world English and speaking. Or for hundreds of native speaking expressions, phrasal verbs and vocabulary to help you speak naturally. Why not check out our book, Next Level English, 50 Lessons to Improve Your English on Amazon. OK, hope is pretty straightforward, so let's go straight to wish. To practice this language point, I will give you a phrase with it's a pity to mean it's unfortunate or it's a shame and you reverse this idea to make a phrase with wish. If I say a statement in present, use wish plus past in a second conditional form. If I say a statement in past, use wish plus past perfect in third conditional form. Ready? Statement one. It's a pity they can't play tennis. What is this phrase with wish? That's right can't play is present. So a wish statement would be, I wish they play tennis or I wish they could play tennis. Statement two, it's a pity he didn't complete his course. What is this phrase with wish? Right, this is an idea about the past. So it would be, I wish he had completed his course. Statement three, it's a pity they don't like vegetables. And with wish? Right, it's, I wish they liked vegetables. Statement four, it's a pity the photocopier broke. And with wish? Right, it's, I wish the photocopier hadn't broken. And that's it, hope and wish. For more ways to use the conditionals, take a look at our even if and even though video here. Or for more conditionals in general, check out our playlist. Catch you next time.